happy Worship Wednesday and upcoming Easter, Easter week. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Let's say hey to some people real quick. And while you guys are uh, jumping on, please drop in the comments, drop in the chat where you're watching from. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Hey, Ian. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Marissa. Ian says, I love your earrings. I thought they were very apropos for this week, Easter week. Uh, these are from Texas Silver Rush, an amazing jewelry company in Fredericksburg, Texas, that is very, very supportive of Texas country music artists. So check them out on Texas Silver Rush on their social medias. And you guys keep dropping in the comments where you're watching from and if you are on Facebook, I hope you'll share share this live stream on your page. I'm going to go ahead and share this. So I'm going to do that while you guys are dropping, dropping all your hellos and where you're watching from, dropping all that in the comments. And also, I would love to know what are you doing for Easter Sunday? Let me know, give a shout out to your church, what church you go to. If you're going to a, like be there physically in person, let me know that. Or if you're going to be watching it online, if your churches where you live aren't open yet. Are you doing family stuff for this weekend? What are you doing for Easter? see all right I think I got that shared awesome awesome definitely did great all right y'all hello Becky hello Joseph hello Roger hello Rodney hello Bridget hello Chris, Chris says, good evening, Pamela and Mary. I just want to share that my birthday, tomorrow's my birthday. That's right. I am totally going to sing you happy birthday because you told me that a month ago and I thought that meant last month was your birthday, but it's tomorrow. All right. So everybody, Chris's birthday is tomorrow. So here's a happy birthday to Chris. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christopher. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Hey, happy birthday, Chris. Hello, Hank. Joey's watching, Joseph's watching from Florida. Hello, Victoria. You just got married, girl, didn't you? Congratulations. Good to see you. Uh, Roger says, good evening, ma'am. Hello, hello. John Hendricks gave me a whole bunch of fire and doves and prayer hands and hearts and cross. He says blessings and greetings from Hawaii. Well, hello to Hawaii. I sure do like Hawaii. I thoroughly enjoy Hawaii. In fact, I had planned on spending all of last July in Hawaii um, for songwriting. And that was planned before the pandemic. Um, so all of my plans and all of your plans, everyone around the world's plans got canceled when the pandemic hit. So yeah, like my Nashville multiple trips, my New Orleans trips, my Iowa trip, my Hawaii month for songwriting. But I like Hawaii a lot. I'm a Florida girl, so I love the beach. Darren says, hello from Omaha. Hello to Omaha. Joshua says, hello, Pamela Mary. Hello, Joshua. Brian says, hey there, it's Brian Cornelius. Well, hello. And Roger says, I'm in paradise. Well, that's nice. I'm in Houston. 
but there is a Paradise, Texas, and, uh, oh, that's one of my songs, but it's not about Paradise, the city, Texas. <laughs> Chris has watching from Santa Rosa, California. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Todd. Hey, Joyce. Todd says, wow, first live. Ha <laughs> ha. Todd, seriously, I've been doing this forever. You're welcome to stop in any week you want. <laughs> Hey, Corey. And Becky says, the Comer family watching from Adrian, Missouri. And Bobby says, hi there, watching from Adrian, Missouri. You're the best. Thank you. You're amazing. I love, your family is awesome. So shout out to the Comer family. Hel Roger says, when is the live concert? Well, that would be this right now. You're here. So, Hey. <laughs> Welcome to the live show. Joseph says, lovely voice. Carrie says, watching from Nashville, girl. <laughs> You're making me a little jealous because I would like to be there right now with you. But in spirit. Diamond Panther 85, hello. And Chris says, thank you so much for that birthday song, Pamela. You're so welcome. Hello, Matthew. Aaron, I did not mean to flip that around. That's <laughs> useless. Aaron says, hi from Nashville. Are you serious? You're in Nashville too. I got two friends here in Nashville. Well, Nashville's a great place. Music City, I had, so I had um, a songwriter's retreat this weekend that normally is in Nashville. And that is, so I was, I was doing that last year at this time and that was my first trip that got canceled like literally things are getting crazy in the world a year ago at this time and so I'm talking to him and I'm like hey so Clay is this gonna is this gonna happen is it is it gonna get shut down like I haven't bought my plane ticket yet but I've got a hotel on hold and then he's like yeah so it's gonna still it's gonna still happen we're gonna be fine we're gonna be fine so I pulled the trigger, I bought the plane ticket, and then sure enough, like the day after, two days after, <laughs> I was like, no, we're going virtual. So we did it again virtual this past weekend. So I had, had a songwriter's retreat this weekend, wrote, wrote some cool songs. I got to write with uh, Timothy James, who has um, a number one hit with George Strait and a Grammy. Um, he's got like some amazing, amazing old songs. And I was thrilled to write with him because I was like, I want an old sounding dance song. So I hope that when that song comes out that you guys like that. Um, I hope that you'll two step to it with your honey. That would be awesome. Uh, John's giving me some happy faces. Maddie says, good evening. Roger says, yes. Joshua Claire says, I love your beautiful voice and you look so beautiful tonight. Well, thanks. So I, at the last minute, decided I had to wear pastel because it's Easter week. Easter's this weekend and that's kind of the color scheme for Easter. So I'm like, mm, all right, well, I'm going to go pastel and deck, deck myself out in my favorite earrings for Easter week. You guys, I want to know what you're doing for Easter. Please tell me. I will tell you that my parents came in town, so I'm going to have a special dinner with my parents Friday night, so that'll be awesome. So what are you guys doing for Easter? Please tell me. Scotty says, watching from the usual spot on my couch, and uh, no, I did not go for my walk today since it looked like it was going to rain. Well, not in, in the evening maybe by where you live, it got really super windy. I went to go get my mail and my hair was like blowing all over the place and just remind me last Wednesday was exactly the same. I had to go drop off some some merch that you guys bought and it was super windy and I was trying to make a video to remind you guys to come come to Worship Wednesday and it was like all so I didn't do that walking in the mailbox today. <laughs> super windy but it's not gonna rain. It's actually going to be absolutely beautiful for the next, like, week. 
And Roger says, when I'm with you singing praise to God, I'm in paradise. Oh. EJ, Earl, hello. Hey, Richard, you made it. How long are you staying this time? David says, hi, little angel. What a beautiful voice. Well, thank you, sir. Aaron says, it's a great place. Hope you get to play here soon. You know, I mean... <laughs> Who knows what travel is going to be like, but I like Nashville. In fact, um, 2019, I went to Nashville a lot. Like, I was always in Nashville. <laughs> Songwriting and singing and all kinds of stuff. Diamond Panther 85 says, We'll be going to Albuquerque for granddaughter birthday weekend. That is really sweet. How fun. She gets a Easter weekend birthday. Bridget says, good evening, Pam. I love your beautiful voice. You look so beautiful tonight. Bridget, you're sweet. Thank you so very much. Chris says, sounds very cool. Richard says, I made it, my dear friend, from Fort Edward, New York. Hey, awesome. And Steve says, happy Holy Week. And Roger says, good thing I didn't say purple. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Scotty says, I know the wind chill has a chance to drop again, like 30s. Wind chill. Wait, are you serious? Because it was... Scotty also lives in Houston where I live on, I think, the other side of town. I don't know. Um, but it was like in the 40s last night. Hey, Todd, are you still on? Was it on the 40s? In the 40s last night? And uh, 30s? For real? That's pretty terrible. Hello, Scott. Bobby says, going to church and staying home. This guy says, which I don't like. Yeah, I know. Uh, Chris says, we'll be getting together with my brother and dad for Easter. Nice, you guys. Can I, Roger says, can I win some free tickets? Roger, you are here right now. It is free. So here is your free ticket, your invitation to hang out for the rest of Worship Wednesday. It's going on now. So you guys, I just wanted to play a whole bunch of those. It's Easter week. So I wanted to play you some, some songs about the cross, hence my cross earrings, hence my playing Old Rugged Cross to Open, which is, I know a lot of y'all's favorite, and I love playing that song, and it is, that is from 1912 by George Bernard, and here is a little nothing but the blood from... 1876 by Robert Lowry. Nothing but the blood. Y'all know the drill. If you know the song, sing along. That's what we do on Worship Wednesday. Some old hymns. Here y'all go. What can wash away my But the blood. I played that um, on keys last time and thought I would do that on guitar tonight for y'all. So, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Easter song, huh? This guy says, the low, I think, is supposed to get down to the 40s either tomorrow morning or evening. I forget which one in Houston. Okay, so is there a cold front going around where y'all live? The temperature dropping for you guys, or is it just Houston? <laughs> Richard says, I hate to say this, but I won't be able to stay for the whole time because I'll be up around four my time again tomorrow as I've been all week. I'll catch up on the replay. Richard, happy to have you here right now till you have to go. Hey, Richard Mintz, he says, happy Passover too. Hey, back at ya. Thanks for hanging out. You're also in the Houston area, Richard. <laughs> you know about this cold front? 
<laughs> Scotty says wind chill is 35, but actual temps is only getting down to about 45 or so. Of course, that was a few hours ago. And I just saw, and you as a Houstonian know that if you just <laughs> if you just wait 30 minutes, it can change. True, true. But that's 35 wind chill. We are in spring, y'all. It is Easter week. It is spring. <laughs> what? Joshua says, you're doing an amazing performance. Thanks, Joshua. You're sweet. Hello, Ricky. Roger says, thank you. You are so welcome. I'm glad you're here. Hello, Greg. Greg says, sounds good. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Becky says, happy Easter. Happy Easter back. Aaron says, yeah, it's cold in Nashville, too. I have my heat on in March. Yeah, March is when, in Houston, when, I don't know... Do I turn the heat on? Do I turn the AC on? Or do I not have it on at all? Or I might go to bed and be totally fine and then like wake up freezing because I don't have the heat on and have to get up and turn the heat on or like pull up a blanket on me. And then in the next day, the afternoon, it's like 80 degrees melting hot. That's a uh, Houston March. Uh, it's kind of nuts, but all good because I would rather deal with that than cold. <laughs> Scotty says it's the heater in the morning and the AC in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. So you guys, my um, a fun, cool thing Easter a few years ago, so my church has like five campuses, but then again, Houston is ginormous being the fourth largest city in the country. And so, I mean, I've got friends and friends here that like live across town and people I've never met, but it's a big city. So my church has five campuses. And a few years ago, I, I used to sing um, with the choir at my church. And I also sang on the small worship team. And, uh, so with the, with the choir a few years ago, I actually got to, we, we did Easter service, combined all the campuses, and we were at Minute Maid Park, the Astros baseball stadium, and, uh, I got to sing with Clay Walker and Cece Winans, and I'm totally blanking on the other two, not because they weren't good, they're famous, and one of them has a Grammy. She's not people that I listen to, so I'm totally blanking. But anyway, so I get to say I've sung with Clay Walker and Cece Winans, but that was Easter several years ago for my church service. That was that was pretty awesome. It was pretty spectacular. I loved that. Roger population under 200 here. Really? Wow, that's pretty small. <laughs> it's a pretty big city over here. Chris says, it's sunny and 80 degrees here in Santa Rosa, California. That sounds very nice. Yeah, you're uh, two hours behind me, so you're at like 5.50. So now is when the sun is going down here in Houston. This song, 1939, by Eugene Bartlett, Victory in Jesus, because Jesus rose from the grave, and we have victory because he died and conquered death. So if you know this song, sing along with me. I heard an old, old story.
beneath the cleansing flood. So I just decided to play that for you guys tonight because it's on Carrie Underwood's new album, My Savior. Now I've known this song forever, but um, I've never played it before until like an hour ago when I was like, I'm going to play this song. So I thought I'd throw that into the mix. It's something I actually um, had on my list, my hymns list, I should learn to play for you guys. So she, Carrie, being my favorite female country artist and hearing that on her album inspired me to play that for y'all tonight. So I'm going to add Victory and Jesus to my Worship Wednesday set list for y'all. But there's an Easter song too. Chris says, you look pretty tonight, Pamela. I truly appreciate that, Chris. Thank you guys. Thanks for hanging out for Worship Wednesday. I always read to you um, from a devotional. It's from Jesus Calling for Comfort. And today's devotional says, Rest in my presence, allowing me to take charge of this day. Do not bolt into the day like a racehorse suddenly released. Instead, walk purposefully with me, letting me direct your course one step at a time. Thank me for each blessing along the way. This brings joy to both you and me. A grateful heart protects you from negative thinking. Thankfulness enables you to see the abundance I shower upon you daily. Your prayers and petitions are winged into heaven's throne room when they are permeated with thanksgiving. In everything give thanks, for this is my will for you. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2.10 Drop in the comments if anything stood out to you. I'd love to read that. <laughs> it reminded me of Thanksgiving. All the be thankful, be great, grateful stuff it was saying. I was like, well, it's Easter, not Thanksgiving, but we are thankful that Christ died for our sins, right? <laughs> Becky says, I love your music. Thank you, Becky. Hello, Jim. So... Ready to fly. I wrote this song um, about chasing your dreams, but also it's about the Christian life. So my the lyrics right off the bat are River Deep Washed Over Me, and that's about being baptized, becoming a Christian and being baptized. And I became a Christian on Easter, well, at Easter, when I was 12. I was at an Easter performance at my church, and I don't remember, I mean, I was 12, I don't remember anything, but I became a Christian when I was 12 at this Easter performance. I mean, of course, a performer like me, who have been on stage since I was six, would find the find it um, meaningful to me to <laughs> add a performance that I would um, that that would hit me enough that that's where I would give my life to Christ but so yeah it was Easter when I was 12 that I gave my life to Christ I wasn't actually baptized until a few months later when I was 13 but fun fact I was actually baptized with my dad, so that was cool, but that's uh, uh, Ready to Fly is about living the Christian life and chasing your dreams, so if you've got Christ on your side, then you've got angels on your side, and if, if God asks you to take a step, and you're afraid to take that leap, he's with you, and he'll send his angels to be with you. So, not 
only is ready to fly about chasing your dreams, it's also about living the Christian life and chasing your dreams. So, here's a little ready to fly for y'all. coming up ready to fly how about Jesus right roasters hello awesome <laughs> y'all are so great Becky says being thankful for having family and friends who care and love you yeah that is really really important I think that's like the most important thing in life is relationships is the people you love the people who love you Chris says I so love ready to fly and I'm so glad Chris I love that you love it Roger says beautiful story thank you you're welcome Jim says awesome we give all the glory to God thanks so much Jim Roger says love your dad my dad's pretty awesome and like I told y'all, I get to see my parents. They've been traveling and having fun because they are retired and get to do that. And 
uh, they take their RV to the beach, and now uh, I get to hang it. They're coming to Houston, so I get to hang out with them on Friday, so that's cool. Corey says, love ready to fly. I'm so glad. I love that you love it. It makes me happy. Hello, Brett. Hello, Nick. Hello, Mark. Mark says, hi, Pamela from Montana. You're sounding great as always. Chris says, sorry, I stepped away for a minute. Hey, it's all good. Hello, David. If you guys like Ready to Fly, you can get a CD right here. I will autograph it for you and send it to you. I would love to do that. Just go to my shop, PamelaMaryMusic.com slash shop and you can get a CD and anything else you want, but I would love to autograph a CD for you guys. And last but not least, it's not a song that has to do with Easter necessarily. It does have a Christian foundation to the song because my brand new song, Take Down a Giant, is based on the premise of David and Goliath, which is, you know, a Bible story. A true story. But it's about my story about how I uh, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis couple years ago, and I hate having MS, but I have it, and it's incurable, so I just have to learn to live life with MS, and it's an uncurable, chronic, progressively disabling disease, which is scary. autoimmune disease that attacks your brain and your spinal cord. And I wrote this song and cried my eyes out talking about my how I battle MS with my two co-writers, my two amazing co-writers. So my physical battles that I deal with, but also the emotional and mental battles because depression comes along with that. And, uh, gosh, I just forgot the statistics of people with MS. Like, depression's pretty prevalent in the world, but people with MS, it's far more prevalent. And, uh, then summer 2018, I also developed anxiety, and I'd never in my life had anxiety. And, um, I'm in a season of my life where I also lost my... Income, and a lot of you guys have too because stuff, the pandemic shut things down, or any number of things you could have gone through a bankruptcy or whatever. And then also relational battles like um, breakups or divorce. So I wrote this song not only for me to tell my story, but also to be an encouragement to you if you're battling any physical, mental, emotional, financial, relational battle. I've been through them all. <laughs> I'm still alive. Sometimes I don't know why. But even the smallest of us can take down a giant. So my current single dropped like a week ago. Take down a giant. Streaming on all platforms. I hope you guys have listened to it a million times as my dad dad says. He wants everybody to listen and download a million times. And if you didn't know that I just released a new song, I did. Take down a giant. So go find that. I also have a link in the description on the Facebook live. On the Instagram, on my Instagram bio, in the YouTube description, there's a link. But I wrote it to hopefully give you hope, encourage you to find that there is hope 
and the hurting. So this is my brand new single, Take Down a Giant. There you go, there's my brand new song, Take Down a Giant, just released the other day. I hope y'all love it. I hope you've been listening to it a million times. Thank you for all the hearts. I appreciate you guys. Hello, Scott. Hello, KS. Becky says, I love this song, Take Down a Giant. I'm so glad Chris says, Take Down a Giant gives me hope. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Um, Roger says, oh, just shared you with 20, 25,000 people, your CD. Wow, how'd you do that? Yeah, so speaking of, you can get my CD. I'll autograph a CD for if you want. But what's really cool is I just got exclusive Take Down a Giant merch. So you can get in my shop. An autograph picture, album cover right here, autograph photo, and the MP3, I'll send you the MP3, I'll send you the chords, lyrics sheet, and what I love are these bracelets. These bracelets are so cool. This silver knot bracelet here is to remind you to stay tied to Jesus, and this bracelet actually says even the smallest of us can take down a giant. And you'll see that on Instagram there and on Facebook. It's really pretty. But I have those in my shop, but I have a link 
on the Facebook description here. You can get the exclusive Take Down a Giant merch bundle. And I would love to autograph one of those pictures for you. I would love for you to get these bracelets. I would love it if somebody would buy one during this live stream and tell me that you bought one. That'd be awesome. Or tell me that you will right after this live stream. I mean, maybe you have two devices. You can do one on one phone and the other on the other phone or computer. But um, these are really cool. And I plan on making a big deal out of these bracelets for Mother's Day. <laughs> Which is in May, but you have to start thinking about mom, mom's present in April, which is tomorrow. So, these bracelets and the autograph photo, the album cover picture, and the MP3 and the guitar chords, lyrics chart. I would love it if somebody would get this bracelet, get the exclusive Take Down a Giant merch bundle tonight, right now, tonight. Tell me you're gonna get that. I would make my day. And it would actually make me so happy if you got it for your mom. That would be so sweet. I'm gonna be pushing these for Mother's Day though, because I think this is awesome. In fact, my parents are in town. I should give this to my mom. I don't, I don't, I won't see her on Mother's Day. I should give it to her tomorrow, Friday, sorry, when I see him. So you can't open this till Mother's Day. I should do that, right? Right, I should do that, right? <laughs> Corey says, when I feel too weak, too small, I look at my bracelet and I'm reminded, thank you. Yeah, Corey got a, got a, um, got a take down, take, take down a giant bundle. And I'm so glad that makes me, uh, that means so much to me, Corey. When I feel too weak, too small, I look at my bracelet and I'm reminded, thank you. Like, that, I'm just trying not to cry right now because that was really, really sweet. I truly appreciate that. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad. Um, yeah, even the smallest of us can take down a giant. Uh, a lot of people, when the song came out, said that they're, like, a lot, said the favorite lyric of the song was, I'm not a human, I'm not a hero, I'm only a human. I'm not a human. <laughs> I'm not a hero. I'm only a human. Uh, battling demons and some days I'm losing. But I like this lyric. I like this lyric. Even the smallest of us can take down a giant. This is my favorite lyric. Do y'all have a favorite lyric of the song? I'm going to be asking that in the future on my social media. Tell me your favorite lyrics. So if you don't know yet, you can listen to it a hundred times and you'll have an answer to my question when I ask that on my social media. <laughs> Chris says, you're the sweetest, Pamela. <laughs> Chris, you're the sweetest. Roger says, I'll screenshot the next share. God gives me chance. Yeah, do it. Becky says, I love your bracelet. I'm so glad. It's so pretty. I love, I love it. I love the way it came out. You did a good job. So you guys, thank you for hanging out tonight. I appreciate you. I hope that you'll end the night with a Take Down a Giant exclusive merch bundle. Or if I made you smile and you want to just drop, drop something into the virtual tip jar, that's cool too. Venmo or PayPal. It's Pamela Mary. My name paypal venmo uh cash app is my whole name pamela mary Kiefer. if you want to drop a virtual tip greatly accepted because you know i'm an artist and i'm not out playing shows right now I'm playing for y'all and y'all are amazing and i appreciate you so if you want to drop a virtual tip greatly appreciated but if you want to get the take down a giant merch bundle or an autographed cd or you can get both that would be awesome too. I love that. But I love hanging out with you guys every week if you're here week after week. Some of you guys have been here since the beginning. I appreciate you. Some of you guys are brand new and I truly appreciate my new friends. Hey Kurt. Kurt says hi pretty lady. Hello. So thank you guys so much for hanging out for Worship Wednesday. I truly hope that you have a wonderful Easter. Remember 
he is risen. Jesus is the reason for the season. Like, honestly, Easter is the more important holiday than Christmas. Because Christmas is when he was born. But Easter is when he died to save all of us. So thank you guys so much for being here. Happy Easter week. Happy Easter weekend. Hello, Michaela. Michaela says amen. And I love you guys so much. So I'll see y'all next week. God bless. Love y'all. Mwah.